This video is going to talk a little bit about a common butt join that you are going to use to fasten the frame of your cornhole boards together. So right here we have an image of a standard butt joint and let's talk about your length. So your 48 inch board is going to go on the outside and your 21 inch board is going to go on the inside. We then need to talk about what type of fasteners we are going to use. So if we draw back on our knowledge from Materials and Processing 1, the butt joint is what we used on our crate. So we could pre-drill and put nails in here. We could use finished nails or framing nails. Uh, framing nails would not have quite the beauty, um, although if the nails are spaced out correctly, they could kind of add to the visual appeal of the cornhole board because I look at a cornhole board being a little more of a rust, could be more of a rustic type of piece. Um, however, depending if you're going to paint your frame, you might want to use a finish nail, we'll set it and putty it. You could also use screws as we did in our shelf project. Um, in our shelf project, we did countersink. You could countersink them or you could just screw it together without countersinking. Either way, you would need to pre-drill. Uh, then if we reflect on our stool project, which you have just finished up, we learned about, sorry, draw, draw on a blank one word. We, were, we, we were, learned about pocket screws. Um, you could do pocket screws. I am sure there are also other ways that you could join these together, although I believe that those are kind of the three most standard. Um, I personally would probably recommend using screws and I would probably pre-drill and I would countersink. But again, it's your choice because you might have a method that you prefer. Um, now, although there are other ways that we could join these, because of the lengths that we have selected to use, we are going to use a butt joint. You know, we could have done a mitered corner. We could have done a half lap. Um, tongue and groove, mortise and tendon. There are other types of joints that we could use, but that would have had to have been pre-planned, being that we have 48 inch and 21 inch boards for our frame. We do need to use a common butt joint. So what I need you to do before the end of class today is I need you to determine what type of joint you are going to use and then what size drill bits, nails, screws, what do, you, what do you need to successfully make that joint? Um, and in this assignment, you are going to find a Google form that you are going to respond to your answer in. So good luck and ask questions as you have them in class.